Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I thought that I would create myself a shirt. I have been really on a roll here creating all kinds of um, shirts and different gifts for my daughter for her housewarming gift. And I was like, you know what, while I'm at it, why not make a shirt for myself, right? So I went to my little basket of goodies and I am going to pull out a black t-shirt as well. I've already cut out and weeded my design on Cricut Design Space. So first, let me just kind of tell you, um, the shirt that I am using is from Michaels. It is their Gildan brand. And um, let me just move this over. And I believe that I got it for $2.99. You can't beat their prices. The prices are amazing. So first, what I want to do is I need to go ahead and heat my Easy Press to 315. And then we will go ahead and we will preheat. We will go ahead and use our lint roller and then we'll place it on. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. First things first is that I need to get rid of any lint that may be on the shirt. Okay, let me go ahead. Now, definitely in times like this, I'm not going to use my littler lint roller. I'm going to go ahead and go to my tried and true. So, let's go ahead and... Get rid of any lint. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fresh roll because it looks like it's not necessarily picking up what I want it to pick up. There we go. Much better. Okay. And I'm just going to lift it up a little bit more. Okay, so we are good and it absolutely did pick up a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this one here so that I can start with a new clean slate when I'm ready. All right, so let me go ahead and put these back. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make myself my guide. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just fold the shirt in half. Okay, let's go ahead and just give it a light crease. I am not worried about the creases staying there. After a while, once it cools off and given time, that crease will actually go away. Okay, so there's that crease. Now I'm going to do another crease, and this one is going to be underneath the armpits. So underneath the armpit here and here, and then just fold. Fold in half. Okay. And we're just going to crease it. Okay, and that also serves as my preheating as well. Okay, so now when I undo my shirt, let's see, let me move it up just a little bit here. There we go. Okay, let me make sure everything's nice and 
Okay, so see now we can see our crosshair. So now we know that this is right smack in the middle. So for this one here, I decided to use a gold iron-on. I'm using Cricut Everyday Iron-on in gold. There we go. And when I saw this SVG, guys, I was like, this is totally me. I don't know about you guys, but I completely, admittedly so, I overthink everything. I can't help it. It's just the way that I am. So, okay, so let's see here. I made myself a little... There we go, like that maybe. Let's see, hold on, let me overthink this. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, is just adorable. Okay, let me go ahead. I am just going to use my tea ruler. Okay, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit here. Actually, what I should do is I am going to make my... Going to make my creases a little bit better to see. There we go. Okay. Like that. And like that. Okay. This should be completely in the middle. All right, let me bring in my HTV tape now just so that I can kind of keep it in place because I'm going to want to like pick this up and take a peek at it and just make sure that it looks straight all the way around. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to measure. So before I even pick anything up, let's go ahead and measure because that'll be a real quick way to see if you are on track. So I'm going to use my gold box as my... Let's see, so here's the end... And it is um, nine and three quarters. Let's see. Okay, so I do need to move it over a skosh. Okay, I think that is going to look good. Let me just hold it up now. Um, yep, that's perfect. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and... Press. Let's see, where's my... Okay, there we go. Okay, so for this one here, we're going to go ahead and press for 315, at 315 for 30 seconds. Okay, so there is that. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it around and give it a little press on the back end. There we go. Okay. Okay, so there's our little focus press on the back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let this cool off a little bit. Oh my goodness, guys, does that not look so, so cute? And this is so me. I overthink everything. Leave me a comment down below. Are you the same as me? Would this shirt look good on you? <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and just let my fan kind of cool this off real quickly. I'm just standing in front of the fan, holding up my shirt, letting it kind of do its thing. Okay. 
I have been working on doing a craft studio tour forever and I keep redoing it only because I keep redoing my studio. It's crazy. I just can't seem to leave my studio alone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, that is good. All right, so let's go ahead now and just see. I'm just going to take my time here. So far, so good. Let's see, I might. Okay, you know what? I may want to do a little focused press one more time. I mean, it's coming up really, really well, but definitely I think that I can do another press and have it be that much more secure okay so oh my gosh this is so darn cute i can't stand it okay let's see here making sure that all of it is there okay i'm gonna go ahead and just you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use my teflon sheet okay let's go ahead Let's just give it an extra, an extra little press. We're just going to doubly make sure that it is going to stay down. Okay, that should be all that's needed. Okay, and then just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and just do the back. my machines okay so now we're just gonna go ahead and just let it cool off let me go ahead and get rid of this I need to that's something on my project list is that I need to make a new ironing board cover so if you have any ideas or some samples leave me a comment down below and let me know what you might suggest that I do with this because I definitely want to um, modify this okay I'm just gonna put it back real quickly here okay and let's see here it's still warm so I'm just going to let it kind of just lay on my desk so that it kind of takes out all that heat there we go okay Oh, like butter. That came out absolutely adorable. And can I just say, I am loving this saying. This is totally, totally me. Oh, my goodness. That came out so pretty. It's always nice to create something for yourself, something that makes you happy. And I know every time I go to wear this shirt, I know that it's going to bring me joy. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, guys, thank you so, so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my channel out. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.